spoke, you also spoke about implementation of new capabilities. Uh, maybe you can, you can give us a look into that and what exactly happens. Awesome, thank you for that. Uh, so before I expand more about that, uh, I could mention some of these new web capabilities. So it, we are talking about web share, target APIs, face detection, all these powerful features that are coming into the web platform from the native uh, platform. And also we have another uh, amazing API design that is uh, getting in, uh, get installed related apps API that allows you not to install, for example, a PWA more than twice. So such amazing features uh, that, that have been brought into the web uh, are aimed at, to, aimed at uh, supercharging the power of the web. And what I love about the idea or the project of implementing these new web uh, capabilities is the way Google has designed the process. So where uh, they identify the need for this particular feature or capability and then try to reach out to the entire users, in this case are the web developers, then get feedback from them and then they write the explainer of this particular problem they're trying to solve and then um, try to build uh, uh, an implementation plan about it and then the, uh, the process iterate until they get the full working API and ship it to the web platform. So, that's some of the process, uh, that's some of the uh, ways uh, that uh, the team at Google is trying to uh, implement to engage the community so that everyone gets involved in uh, enabling these new web capabilities. Yeah. So that's basically about uh, the process of uh, making sure that we have these new capabilities rolled in a systematic way. Okay, uh, so you mentioned PWA. Uh, maybe you can you can give us a few insights on um, its adoption and its future the, the future implementation of PWA. Awesome, that's a good question. So progressive PWA basically means progressive web app. So uh, from it uh, from the definition, so it's a progressive web advancement where we where we have these native features uh, being brought into the web platform. So uh, currently we have like been able to install uh, uh, a web app as and be able like uh, any kind of a native app and also being able to work offline and all those things. And the main aim of this kind of technology is to supercharge an instant web and uh, open doors to more uh, features being brought in the web so that if you're a web developer you can still focus on being a web developer and not worry about being a native app developer and if you're a native app developer you can choose as well the same uh, platform so I think PWAs have opened the way uh, to more of these amazing features and a powerful web platform that all of us have been waiting for and I think uh, the feature is great about it just like I mentioned like we are going to define a path into software development in regards to the web platform and the native platform. So PWAs uh, are such a magic that yeah, we've always, uh, most of us, uh, waited for. Yeah. So uh, what's your advice for people who actually uh, worry about uh, creating a native app and also uh, uh, PWAs? Like, um, what's your advice to them? So it depends with what type of solution you are trying to engage. Maybe if you are starting out, for example, uh, you look at what are you trying to build. Because just like I mentioned, uh, we still are in the process of implementing new capability on the web platform. So if you are building, for, for example, uh, an app that wants to use, you want to build a solution involving uh, face detection, that is not currently possible on the web. So you will go the native. Halfway. So basically, it depends with what kind of a solution you want to build and uh, identify that and the need and the scalability along the, the way as you build your solution will help you to choose either the web uh, or that is PWS or the native app. But at the end of the day, uh, you need to actually focus on uh, productivity in terms of building and in terms of uh, um, having the kind of platform you're building on provide uh, a better solution in a more seamless way. Excellent. So, um, what you've spoken about is, is really, is really magical, yeah. as you said. Uh, 
thing like this is one of the features that most of us would be looking at uh, to ease our work and to make it much more efficient. Uh, so maybe in a nutshell, you could like um, tell us why you see uh, this feature. Um, and, like tell us some um, and how exactly is it going to like impact us as architects to improve the sustainability. Uh, so I would say Peter Blaze are rocking up, right? So if you want to get into uh, software development in line with web platform, feel safe, right? Because some of those features I was talking about in the keynote uh, are actually in the process of getting rolled up and uh, what I call the up gap or what uh, it's called the up gap. So probably by the end of the year when we have uh, the Chrome Summit, for example, we have a significant number of these capabilities already rolled out, I mean. So I think uh, it's helped to play along with it and yeah, start building your, uh, your service or your app without worrying uh, about these things. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, that's really great. Um, we hope to see uh, many of us adopt the new capabilities. And also, um, this is a great new feature. So it's open to all developers. So hopefully uh, we see a better use of the new capabilities. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for having me. I appreciate this.